Yes guys, welcome back and on today's video, we're going grass tracking. So guys, on today's video, we're going grass tracking. For those of you that don't know what grass track is, all I can describe it as is basically speedway, but on grass. So, I tried it last year, not gonna lie, did absolutely pony at it. And I got the bike, turned out something was wrong with it. It was smashing something into suspension. It felt horrible to ride. And yeah, I honestly thought about selling the bike on eBay that night. I thought myself, being that I've done Speedway and I'm fairly all right, being that I've done motocross and I'm fairly all right, I thought I'd smash grass track, but I'm honestly pony at it. But I'm here today in Winchester to have another go. It's quite a big meeting. It's called the Bantasia 2. There's a lot of pros here. It's like the pro pit, I think. Oh no, that's the pro pit. One of them's a pro pit anyway, where I think they get money to come. I've had to pay today, but I did get an invite saying, would you come down? So that was quite cool in a way. Um, but yeah, so basically the track, let's have a look at the track. As you can see, it's like, it is literally just on a grass field. Um, you've got some pegs here that you're not allowed to go inside or outside. It's quite a wide, track but that's like it it's a wide track but i still think i'm gonna end up going wide i've put the gopro on the bike mount so i don't know what that's going to be like so we're going to find out um so basically you start from there anti-clockwise all the way around four laps first one across the line wins how hard can it be so this is my grass track bike that i bought obviously it's not got my stuff on it but it's uh, good enough main difference to a speedway bike forks are a little bit different and there is open this there's a rear shocker in the bigger back wheel looks quite a bit different to the speedway bike it's nothing like motocross there's no crusty suspension it is pretty rough and roaring to go stuck my gopro on there you're not allowed it on the rider um other than that oh there's a gearbox as well sorry it's two gears on a grass track bike i'll probably only use one today um but yeah that is pretty much what a grass track bike looks like got my old man with me on the spanners today loves the vlogs can't get enough um so yeah let's get changed and get out there tell we're at grass track um first practice session done so much better than me first ever go on the grass track bike the track's smooth the bike's running a lot better so for a first proper go i'll call it that was all right actually we're just going to change the gearing spinning up a lot the track is wet i've been told don't go too low after practice because even though it's slippy and nice now once you come to race that slippiness won't be there so just be careful so i'm just going to go one tooth down um it's three heats and then a final 
I just went out with them guys then and, and beat them, whoever they are. So I'm hoping I'm not going to come last, which I think I won't do. We're going to go for that A final, if we can. Um, and again, I'm sorry, I don't know how much GoPro footage there'll be because you can see it got full of grass and that was the end of that. But uh, yeah, let's go for uh, race number one. Number nine is Robbie Simmons, a second generation sidecar driver. So practice is done. Uh, got a second cheeky practice as well there because I just made an adjustment to the bike, so one recommended. Went out. It was hard to really tell the difference because it, it's gone like it was like a lovely bowling green at the start, and then after that, it was like now it's a bit rough and it's only just practice. So come third race, might put me uh, KXF forks on it. Uh, just got to do a rider's briefing now. So Don't quite get what that's about. Uh, right, while well, he's banging on. Um, yeah, so we've got to do a riders meeting, a riders briefing. Don't really know what they're going to say. Go out, turn left, finish at the finish flag. Anyway, we'll find out. Hey, I'm starstruck here. We're here with Kenneth Hansen, all the way from Denmark. Oh, yeah. All the way from Denmark to come and ride around a, a British grass track field. All right, mate? Yeah, not powered by pies anymore, <laughs> but still going strong, yeah? You gonna win today? Uh, I don't really know, you know. I'm up against you and I've heard big no, things mate, about mate. you. I'm in novice class, mate. Oh, You're right, in pro right. class. Well, we'll give it a go. I've been off the bike for a while, but yeah. it's good to, good to be back here. Yeah? And uh, just set about your uh, your nice camera here yeah. and the red man. Yeah, it suits you brilliantly, huh? Sick, mate. So I'll film him, see if he wins. If he don't, he owes me 50 quid. All right, then. <laughs> um, obviously, you all ride FIM events. So you know that you can put your front wheel over that white line out there. If I put 5p on there, probably nine of you will hit nine out of ten of you'll hit it four out of four laps. The only problem is you're taking me flags out, which means I have to hold the meeting up. So I'm actually going to run it to ACU rules, which says no front wheel over the white line. Is everybody happy with that? Any questions? Right. Okay. So round of presentation done. Yeah, probably, to be fair, was worth listening to. Um, I tell you what. There's a few fans here. Have a look at that. I don't know if you can... Oh, they're all down there. They're all camping in motorhomes. Looks like a proper good day out, this for... I guess, you know what I mean? Like, probably, we'll, we'll be honest, old generation. Uh, but, mate, I think it'd be cool to get... You shut up. Um, I think it'd be cool to get, like, you know, like, get a few boys on beers and that. I reckon it'd be a good crack on, on chair. A few titties. I could see it getting wild. In fact, look at this. A few boys up to his ear, look. I'd definitely be up for that, me. So just done parade. Um, quite cool. Wave to the fans, give it a big one. Everyone seems to wave back. So, quite a good atmosphere, actually, today. Uh, quite like it. It's different to motocross, you know what I mean? No, you don't get anyone waving at you, do you? Like, when you're doing practice. Imagine that, like, giving it a big wave. But, uh, no, it was quite good actually. We, we've had it at Speedway where you get your, your wave and that, but I don't know. Everyone just seems a bit happy. So, yeah, I like this. I like a bit of grass track so far. So, this is the programme. Side cars out first. And then I think I'm race six. Race six? No, I'm not in that one. I am in. Oh, I'm race seven. So, four. Don't get what that means, but we'll find out, I'm sure. So yeah, let's go race. Whoops. 
speeding into the turn is Wayne Broadhurst, number 158. He's chased in there though, somebody's fallen as they go in, that's Paul Bowen that's fallen in the middle of the turn, hopefully he So our first race, got a bit brave, felt like I went in the corner reasonably well, going for the challenge on the lead and just seemed to lose the front end, I don't know if he put me off or what, but gutted, didn't even do a lot, but we'll go for the next one. well into that second place and Paul Bowen this time negotiating the first turn he comes up the inside it's Paul Bowen that has a great first turn Bowen has got right on the back wheel of Graham Brown at the late stage of this race he's gonna have a go at Graham Brown going into this big corner he's gone in a little bit wider than him Good style from Paul Bowen as he slips wide coming off that turn. He's gonna have a go at him on this last turn. Graham Brown's gonna have to have eyes in the back of his head. Paul Bowen's gone on the outside. He's thrown the bike sideways. It's gonna be close. Graham Brown's moved him wide. He must have heard him there. Graham Brown wins. So that's the second race done, a lot better obviously, made it all the way around. I should have like, on the footage there, I don't know how good it is, like my dad said, should have gone wide, maybe cut in, he just pushed me out at that last minute, um, but a lot more confident then, I got, as soon as I got my first lap and a bit out of the way, I knew what I was doing, I'm just going to go up on the sprocket now, make it a bit easier, and um, so hopefully, race three, last race, I want that win, I want my first grass track win. So that's what we're going for. Let's try it. Well, um, forgot to put the GoPro on for my third race. Uh, got third in that one, nearly got the, the whole shot. A guy that was in the race, it, I won't lie, he was a lot faster than me um, in that one because obviously it's different riders each heat. So um, another one kind of pushed me out. So I was fourth and then made my way back to third. Um, man, I could have had second, but. To be fair, I think that was it. Uh, it's getting a bit cold, my hands, I don't even see that on the finger. So struggled a little bit with that. So let's get the GoPro on for the final and let's see how we get on. So here we go for this open solo final. Plus has gone chasing in after him in second place. They all get together in the middle of the corner. Jason Prince gone incredibly wide and right. turn the bike, Jason Prince got the machine turned already and he's fallen! Jason Prince wins, Ryan Ascroft second. It's Graham Brown I think he was third. Disaster for Wayne Broadhurst. Disaster at the end for Wayne Broadhurst. But it was a win for number 25, Jason Prince. Second place, number 45, Ryan Ascroft. Third place, number 67, Paul Bowen. Fourth place, number three, Graham Brown. Yeah. 
So guys, third place. Quite lucky really to get it because the guy fell. Um, but I'll take it, I'll take third place. So yeah, absolutely chuffed with today. Um, would have been nice to get like a race win, but I'm happy. Um, that final, there was a lot more, felt like more competition, whether there were some people that had not raced before in the qualifiers, I don't know, but super pumped to get third place. So, third place in the open solo class today, it's, uh, it's Paul Bowen, so well done Paul. And second place in the open solo class, great to see him coming up here, Brian Ashcroft. And the winner of the open solo class, Jason Flynn. Well done, mate. Did we get a picture of us, darling? Right, I want to talk to Paul quickly, because don't go near Ryan. You might have to lean across. Paul, uh, obviously new to grass track, you must be delighted with third place. Yeah, uh, started off with a fall in my first one, uh, <laughs> typical me, but yeah, no, it was good, first proper race, um, enjoyed it, the, the lads in the final, was uh, it was good to sort of hang with them and get a third place, so yeah, I'm chuffed. Yeah, brilliant stuff, Paul, in second place, Ryan, it must be coming on. Hold on to our third, second and first in the open class. So there we have it, sports fans, third place, that'll do, uh, and like I said, really good day. It's been good to improve. Um, big shout out to the guys that put this on, which is Grass Track Banter. Um, look for them on Facebook. Just <laughs> kid, they're going for it. Just want to say thanks again for watching. And if you could subscribe and like, if you like this kind of stuff and you'd like to see more of it, let me know in them comments. Give us a subscribe, it really helps out. And I'll see you on the next vlog.